Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on for you in love. Uh, what are the challenges? Who are you dealing with? What can you expect next? All of that will be in this reading. Let's jump right in for Pisces. Spirit of angels, guys. Message please for Pisces. What messages, what guidance do you have for Pisces regarding love? I just saw the moon. Messages, guidance for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces in love? Let's start there. What's going on for Pisces in love? What's going on for Pisces in love? The Nine of Cups, okay. I feel like you're getting something that you want. What's going on for Pisces in love? Death, Scorpio energy there. I feel like you're getting something that you want, Pisces, but maybe not, I don't know, it's like a happy change or a difficult change. It's a, it's a possibly even an ending, but it's bringing you something that you desire. Tell me about this Nine of Cups. What about the Nine of Cups? Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Yeah, the Sun and the Six of Cups. I feel like you're getting some sort of happy news or a happy connection or something that makes you very happy regarding a particular person. Maybe a soulmate is arriving for you with the Six of Cups here. There's the chariot, cancer energy. is like you're moving forward, moving into the path of success. Things are working out, or at least it feels like things are going to work out. And I feel like this could be regarding a Scorpio. I mean, it could be somebody that has Scorpio or cancer in their chart. Or I feel like something could have ended or changed, transformed for you. But I feel like even if that was difficult... You're getting what you want now. What's going on for Pisces in love? What's the energy? Overall energy for Pisces regarding love. Poetic justice, fairness, balance, karma. Yeah, I feel like so something good is happening for you, Pisces. What's the overall energy for Pisces in love spirit? The overall energy, please, for Pisces. Restoring balance. Yeah, I feel like things are coming around or things are improving for you with poetic justice and restoring balance. It's like things are happening the way they should have happened or it's like your things have changed for you in a very positive way. Tell me more. What's the overall energy for Pisces? What is the overall energy spirit? For Pisces in love. Overall energy, please, for Pisces in love. Kiss the girl. It don't take a word, not a single word. Go on and kiss the girl. First move, courage, hidden feelings. Someone's making a first move, and I feel like you're going to end up very happy at the end of it. Like, that's the energy I'm picking up here. It's very optimistic very happy joyful it's like yes i have gotten my desire my wish i'm very happy yeah there's ever after at the bottom of the deck happy endings joy and resolution so i feel like there's a happy ending that's awaiting you or something is wrapping up very nicely i love that energy what's been happening for you in the recent past in love okay we have Knight of Swords and Queen of Cups. So someone here has been discussing feelings, wanting to discuss their feelings, being very honest about the person that they care about, having very maybe emotionally revealing discussions. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Yeah, I feel like someone's communicating or has communicated in the recent past to you 
um, or just wants to like express themselves here. Um, I think they're being very honest about pain, difficulty. It's it's more like I'm getting more feelings than pain. It's it's like it's like almost like someone is um, like I'm getting this energy of like catharsis, like as they reveal themselves to you, even if what they're revealing is difficult. It's like I'm getting, it's like they're washing this away or there's like a burden that's lifted or like there's no longer weight on their shoulders. Like that's the energy I'm getting there. What's been the challenge for Pisces when it comes to love? What's been the challenge for Pisces? Yeah, feeling left out, feeling abandoned. Feeling like you're on the outside looking in. Feeling like something is missing with the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Yeah, it's been difficult. I, I, I'm speaking to a Pisces that things had to turn around because they couldn't keep... Like, it couldn't keep going the way that it's been going because there's only been disappointment and emptiness there. Maybe feelings of being far away from where you wanted to be or who you wanted to be with. That's why the Death card is here. Death is about rebirth, right? Death is about, you know, a door that closes, uh, an ending. But there's also this energy of transformation. Like, it, like things change because of it. Tell me about the person that Pisces is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this individual that Pisces is, has? Or we'll be dealing with spirit. What do we need to know about this person? Eight of Pentacles. So they're actively working on something, putting an energy into something, uh, being very dedicated, hardworking. This is someone that invests. Can I get some more insight into this individual? They're working on something. Two of Wands. Okay. And then the Knight of Cups with the Nine of Swords. Interesting. Um, this person has a message for you. This could be the person you've already been talking to. There could be an apology here because when I see the Knight of Cups with the Eight of Pentacles, it's like, let's work things out. There's the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this person has feelings for you, Pisces. And I feel like they want to communicate those feelings or have communicated their feelings. They're into you. But I'm also getting like, there's something else here with this Knight of Swords. And two of wands like there's like a worry or an anxiety about a path that they have to choose here or maybe they're anxious or stressed out about what to do about a particular problem or situation let's find out with um what that nine of swords is all about but i feel like there's they definitely have feelings for you let me move this over what's this nine of swords about Why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay, so I think they're worried about what they're going to tell you. If they want to make an offer to you, if they want to do a proposal, if they want to propose something to you, like let's, you know, let's go steady or let's take this to the next level, let's move in. Um, they're scared. They're anxious about that. I get that. I get an energy here of someone that's trying to impress you or like prove themselves to you this could be anybody this could be somebody new somebody that you already know someone you have a history with i'm not getting anything specific there that it has to be someone from the past although the six of cups did show up so this could be a past person for some of you but more than anything the six of cups is like yes i'm getting everything i desire especially with the sun being there let me get some a ps i love you for this person what do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Pisces? What's in their heart space when it comes to Pisces? What do we need to know about this person's thoughts, feelings towards Pisces? What do we need to know, Spirit? I should have told you how I felt when I had the chance. So this person waited to um, tell you how they feel. 
Didn't you have a reading? You, I feel like uh, Pisces, you were the ones that had a reading recently about someone confessing their feelings. Yes, the you and them reading of September. Check that out. Um, it'll be your playlist is linked in the description box, or you could just go to my channel and see like the recent videos that came up. But the one for Pisces, it was somebody that was literally coming out of the shadows to confess that they feel um, feelings for you. They have certain feelings for you. What else? What else do we need to know about this person? What else do we need to know about this person? I know what love is because of you. And you have taught me so much. So I feel like you've taught this person lessons. Um, I feel like you've impressed this person. Um, maybe you're more mature than this person. Maybe you are just someone that's very giving, very generous and loving. And this person has learned from you. Um, I also am getting this energy of someone that others don't treat them like that or they haven't known that before and it sticks out to them that you've treated them differently. So where is all of this headed? Where is all of this headed next for Pisces and this person? Where is all of this headed next? Wow, the world and the emperor, Aries energy there. Someone's taking charge, starting a new cycle. Definitely an energy of new beginnings here with death, the world. Where is all of this headed for Pisces and this other person, Spirit? Where is all of this headed for Pisces and this other person? Eight of Swords, okay. That's that fear again. Yeah, and the Two of Swords. I feel like this person might be expecting rejection. Maybe you've already rejected them in some way. Um, but I don't, I don't, I just don't get that, Pisces. I feel like the Pisces I'm speaking to, you wanted this with the Nine of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Sun. Um, there's happiness here, there's resolution, there's fairness, balance. There is someone making first moves, you know, the, the emperor is definitely somebody that would make the first move. Maybe you're just in your head or this other person's in their head. Um, how to do this, how to approach this um, offer. Tell me about the eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here? Why is the eight of swords here? Wow, the Empress. I feel like this is about rejection. Yeah, they're taking a risk with the Fool at the bottom of the deck. They're taking a risk. But look at this. Divine counterparts. The Emperor and the Empress showed up. This person is afraid. I feel the person that the, that's taking charge, this Emperor, they're probably hiding their fear. But they're really, like, anxious. Um, maybe that they don't deserve you. It's like they, they're not sure they deserve you, but they're going to try anyway. They're going to take that risk with the Fool of having a new beginning with you, of having starting a new cycle, trying something different, because there's an energy here of different transformation with uh, death. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know? Oh yeah, Ace of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. This person is going to propose a new beginning, a new start, having like a relationship with you. Yeah, there's a Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That's really what this is about. This is someone that after some time, they've confessed how they feel. And now they don't just want to leave it there. They want this to move forward. They want this. They want a future with you. They want a new beginning, a new start with you because they recognize that you are their counterpart. You are the person they're meant to be with. And they're gonna make you an offer. Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So it's gonna be up to you. I feel like you're gonna be very happy with this offer. It's like it's everything you wanted. Maybe it's not the it's not going down the exact way you expected, but you'll be very happy with it at the end of the day. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for checking out this reading. Hit that like button and subscribe before you leave. I would love to have you 
And um, thank you again to everyone that's so supportive in the comments. Feel free to let me know in the comments if this resonated. 